I believe fully that a pregnant woman should not take medications if, if not necessary, by all means. Including marijuana. Um, but, at, but I would stop at Except that. Except for that one. For, we have seen many women, again, mm -hmm. culture, cultures and centuries old, they've been using this in many, yeah. in many, many cultures. The one thing that I would give you, and this is where, look, we have to grow up as a society. Mm -hmm. We need to start formalizing studies uh, with marijuana now that it's yeah. using, being used medicinally, because yeah, right. we, quite yeah. frankly, don't have the research. We'll get more data. But yeah. you always, in my humble opinion, when it comes to kids who have no choice, you are better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. That's why yep. anything yeah. that a mother could take that could potentially affect either the unborn child or the child that's breastfeeding, I think you take it out of the equation. Yeah, but the one thing I'll give important. you is we, we should, we do need to do more studies. Yes. You know, a lot, of, a lot of moms have the misconception that it doesn't really get into the breast milk. In fact, the opposite can be true, especially for a chronic user. Uh, THC tends to concentrate itself in the fatty tissues of a mom, which, which are the breast and the milk. And for a, a regular chronic user, uh, their, her breast milk can contain eight times the uh, level of THC than her blood level. And then so it if really you're pumping does. that milk and you're letting yeah. it sit and you're, you're refrigerating it and mm -hmm. you're using it, you basically have THC breast milk sitting mm -hmm. around waiting for your child to. to and obviously, we're not going to give a child. We're not going to give a child, you know, marijuana and say, "Oh, yeah. let's see how this affects your brain." No, but right. a 2014 study on mice as well as human tissue found marijuana during pregnancy could affect the baby's brain development by interfering with how the brain cells are wired, like Jim mentioned. Mm -hmm. Children exposed to marijuana in the womb, of course, they may have a risk, increased risk of cognitive effects. Mm -hmm. You mentioned IQ, and these are irreversible changes. One last study, moms that, exposed, that smoked the marijuana and breastfed during just the first month of the child's life and then stopped, 11 months later, at one year, those kids still showed decreased motor skill development. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.